the reviews of the company were a little sketch. I am really here by myself. You guys, we are back in business. I got the charger for my camera and my second battery, so we are good to go. However, I cannot locate the extra battery and charger for my other camera, so we're gonna have to figure that out. But I accomplished a lot last night. Let me show you the progress. Okay, so pretty much we are done in here. This box right here contains like pictures and stuff and I'm not gonna open it just yet. This one is just filled with like all of my stuff that I got from my desk at my old job. I'm gonna keep it there for whenever we do end up going into the office at my new job and I can just like figure that situation out. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my filming equipment. I have some over here and some more tripods back there. We'll get there eventually. And then the rest of the space is just like world empty we love that and then coming into my room my bed is not made but pretty much everything in here is put away finished that and i'm not opening my mirror just yet because i have no clue where i'm putting it so i'm just gonna leave it wrapped for now and figure that out on a different date and then over here this is like the last thing that i need to figure out and put away and then the bathroom is just the bathroom so <laughs> and then nothing too spectacular here in the kitchen i really need to clean off this we will get there and then walking over here have my cart fully done it's not like perfect but it will do and then i have like all of my cleaning stuff back there like broom swiffer vacuum all of that so this week i am not working i took a week break from my old job and my current job so i can just like get settled and get things in order so this is kind of like a week in my life unemployed but if you're new here i'm passion and i make lifestyle videos and vlogs and would love for you to take a moment and hit the subscribe button down below and you guys oh my god so last night was like the first night that I spent in the apartment by myself and let me just tell you it was very interesting <laughs> my air conditioning is very loud whenever it comes on and it was constantly on like the whole entire night and I was just like why so every single time it came on it would wake me up and I'm like uh-uh so at one point I just turned it off <laughs> it was like yeah we'll just have to rough it because I cannot deal with that and then on top of that I ran my dishwasher last night and for some reason it takes like three four hours three to four hours to complete so it would randomly be making noise and i'm just like what is that so lesson learned there if i want to wash any dishes we're going to wash them earlier on in the day like evening five o'clock five six o'clock something like that so we won't have to deal with that and then i went to target to get a couple of things so let me show you what I got from Target, which can I just take a moment and say how much money Target has taken from me over the past like three days. It's insane. From Target, I got this remote. I don't have a remote for my TV and I need to get one. So I just picked up this one. Sharpies, command strips for my pictures whenever I hang them up. Some bag clips, little like silicone oven mitts i've never used these before so hopefully they work well a hook for my bathroom just to hang like towels and stuff like that some blue masking tape so i can map out what the sofa is going to look like napkin holder room spray and a paper towel holder so i have this sofa in mind it's going to be like a really small sectional because the space in the living room is not that big but I want to go ahead and map it out. I'm not going to show you guys the couch. I want it to be a little bit of a surprise, but you guys will see kind of like the shape of it. So yes, that is what I'm about to do right now. So this is what 
it would look like. And I'll back up too so you guys can see a little bit more. I know there's like a lot of stuff in here, but just envision sofa. I think it'll work really well in this space. For sure. For sure. Let me just tell y'all, it is very hot outside. Like super hot outside. It is a cool 95 one of the projects that I kind of want to work on right now is just clearing off my desk. I'm not really a fan of living in clutter, so I really want to get that cleared off. I'm thinking I'll pretty much utilize like these two bottom um, shelves. Why could I not think of that? And then move my books up. It might be the bottom three. Yeah, I think the bottom three I'll use for storage and the top three will be all of my books. We'll see how that works out. She is looking a thousand times better over here. I still want to clear off this part of the counter. These, that's pretty much just gonna stay because I don't know what I'm doing with pictures. And then that's all of my office stuff. I really won't be decorating that much until I get my couch because that's going to determine like where my desk is going to go, where this chair is going to go. Basically, it's going to determine everything. So TBD on the pictures, but definitely a lot clearer over here. <laughs> Friday you guys so as you can see we have completely pivoted from the couch I was going to get I decided to get a completely different couch just because although the couch that I selected first was like super nice exactly kind of what I wanted fit the space perfectly the reviews of the company were a little sketch so decided to pivot and go with a company that I have purchased from before so cannot wait to show you guys what that couch looks like I'll insert a picture of the couch that I was going to get just so you guys can see so this is what she will now look like just like a regular sofa not a sectional like it won't have that chaise coming out on this side it'll just be straight across like a regular sofa and I feel like that kind of works better for if I do move then I really won't have to like play around with trying to configure a sectional. I can just place it, add a couple of more chairs if I need more seating and be done with it. So that is that. in advance for the audio i have the air conditioning on right now and i'm washing clothes so bear with me today is saturday i have actually accomplished a lot today finished the last of my boxes i'm packing the last of my boxes so i just have to take those to recycling um i think i'm gonna do that after i run this load and put it in the washer or the dryer sorry um so i'll do that after like cleaning up i feel like i have a lot of space in here let me show you okay so you guys already know what the kitchen kind of looks like but this whole entire counter space has been cleared off pretty much everything that's left on here is going to stay on here of course when those finish drying i'll put those away this is kind of like a catch-all basket of things but for the most part it's clear and i haven't seen this clear since i moved in <laughs> over here the desk area is kind of sort of finished I just have like some random things out and then these shelves are done as well there isn't going to be like any styling done to these shelves they will just be how they are <laughs> and then we cleared up this space over here I had like a bunch of pictures over here completely cleared that out put it under my bed I just got some new shoes I need to figure out what to do with those but for the most part 
this is very clear. So now I just have to order my sofa. Once I do that, I can get like the coffee table rug and all of that so it can hopefully be a lot less echoey in here. And then my room, we finally made my bed. <laughs> It's been forever since I made my bed, I feel. So I'm thinking I'll probably end up keeping my bed along this wall. I was really kind of playing with the idea of putting it in front of this window or on this wall over here, but no, I think it's fine where it's at right now. I do have to figure out where I want to put my mirror. I'm gonna open it and unpackage it and everything like that tomorrow because that's when trash comes to pick up so I can put all of this in the trash and the recycling and all that so I'll do that tomorrow and that's like the last thing that I have to kind of unpack <laughs> but she's finished um I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this window and curtains I think I want blackout curtains instead of my sheer curtains and I might just put my sheer curtains in the living room but we will see. And then the bathroom, I mean, the bathroom is just the bathroom. So that's how that looks. <laughs> this is not finished whatsoever, but you know, it's gonna work for right now. But yeah, so I basically spent the whole majority of today like vacuuming, sweeping, all that good stuff. So she is clean. And the reason why I did that, you guys. So I pretty much knew that I wanted to clean this weekend just because, you know, I start my job on Monday and next week is just going to be insane, I feel like, because of that. So I wanted to get pretty much everything done. The only thing that I haven't done is like organize my clothes in my closet, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Today was like the first time that I had like a moment where I was like oh like I am really here by myself alone like no one else is gonna walk through this door and you know it hit it really did hit and I'm like I'm sitting there and I'm just like okay so like when there's an issue I'm the only one that's gonna be dealing with it like I have to deal with it one two if i ever get bored i can't like walk to someone else's room i have to pick up the phone call someone text someone and then it's like <laughs> it's just weird it's so bizarre because i think that you know you have those moments where it's like oh my god i'm so ready to like have my own space be by myself and then it comes and you're like oh crap what did I just do? And that's kind of like how I felt. And so of course, sat in the moment and was like, okay, I'm gonna let myself like really feel this. But after that, like I kind of have to snap out of it because like this is the situation for the next year. And I think that a lot of it has to do with the fact that, you know, the apartment is like fine, but a lot of things just weren't how I would want the apartment to be so like when I first moved in you know they didn't clean it that well so we spent a good chunk of time having to clean everything thoroughly like I'm talking there were like beard shavings in one of the doors like something like that so having to do that you know and it's just like my location I mean I've already kind of decided that I'll only be in this apartment complex for one year like as i said it's a fine apartment complex but i just want something more probably something newer that's just what i want so and also because the kitchen i think i may have said that this has this apartment has a lot of storage which it has a good amount of storage i'm not gonna lie about that because the storage in the bathroom fantastic um my closet everything can fit in there so great even the coat closet when you first walk in great the kitchen the storage for the kitchen is ridiculous like let me show you okay so here's the kitchen and pretty much these are the only uppers that i have this one like i could still put stuff in there but i also don't want to have to like get a stool every single time I need something. These, you guys, 
like that's it they're not wide so i can't put like big plates in here so there's that and it's the same one over there now however they do have storage up here that's completely empty but again i don't want to have to get a ladder out every single time i need something and even these two are pretty like pretty shallow like i have all my plates and stuff down here because again i don't want to have to get a ladder to get a plate so yeah that's that situation but i think what i will say is that i am very lucky to have you guys i feel like you guys are like my roommate that i can talk to like if i'm ever bored i can just take out the camera and start vlogging so that's nice so thank you guys for being my roommate <laughs> you guys definitely did not volunteer for this position but it was still assigned to you so thank you <laughs> so yeah so that's kind of that i'm also like still waiting to have a good night's sleep like I will be up until like midnight, one, two o'clock in the morning, and I'll wake up at like six, seven o'clock, stay up for maybe an hour or two and go back to sleep. And I think that that just has to do with, you know, being in a new space and also like being here alone. And one of the things that I have a huge issue with is that my air is so freaking loud. So every single time it comes on, which it comes on so often, I feel like more often than it probably should. And it's it's just the loudest thing ever. And it's like, when it's running, it's fine. It's when it initially comes on, I kind of like wake up and I'm like, whoa, what was that? Other than that, we're just like chilling. I'm trying to like shake it as much as I possibly can. But it's, it is what it is. I think that me being comfortable is only gonna come with time and that's like the only thing I can do because I mean, I technically like I have an alarm system and I feel like pretty safe. It's just like at night, you know, I'm like, man, if it could be like sunny 24 seven, I would thrive. I would really thrive. Mm -hmm.